Okay, somebody had to do it. In fact, we all do it. Um, in every video there is an intro and an outro, and in every human being there is an intro and an outro. And uh, so I thought I would do this video on something that uh, we all have to deal with from time to time, usually on a pretty regular basis, hopefully. And I tried to get Rini to be in this video with me, but she said, no, I'm not going to do that because you're going to end up being the butt of all jokes. Well, uh, I'll tell you about that in this video. Okay, the big project for today is to change out this commode. I think this is a Thetford. There's a couple of things I don't like about it. Number one, the seat's not a traditional seat. It's not an elongated seat. And although it uh, has a pretty roomy seat here, uh, a couple other things that I don't like about it is that this right here and when you flush it it does not get water all the way around and so I don't like that so when I flush it I like for it to get up into this area here and you notice it's only got this right here it doesn't have any little ports around and so I want to change that out and I want to change this to a 320 Dometic, which has a standard seat. Does not have this thing on the back. And one of the reasons I want to change this is because I want to put a bidet on here. I know it sounds crazy. If you've ever used a bidet, you'll know that in 20 seconds, you can be entirely clean and use very, very little water and almost no toilet paper. So this is one reason I wanna change this. Uh, number one, you are entirely clean. So anyway, I'll not get into more details on that. Uh, the commode has to be rotated a little bit. I need at least uh, 10 and a half and hopefully close to 11 inches of wall. Uh, I mean space between the wall and the center of the dump hole and so we'll take a look at that as we go along and we'll see what we have. So the first thing I'd like to do is make a uh, some tape. I use painters tape like this so you don't uh, pull up too much you can remove it easily and it doesn't leave any residue. Um, but uh, put three uh, lines of it together there to make kind of a almost a square thing to cover up the hole when I remove the commode. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll have to look behind the commode here and I have to put some paper towels back in here because I'm going to take, I see, not that but this loose you know, I feel like a little drop there interesting so I'll take see if I can get that take that water line loose I'm going to come over here and remove this right here, this cap right there. And that leaves a bolt. Hope you can see that okay. And I'm gonna loosen up that. I'm gonna take that nut off of there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And uh, that should uh, remove the, uh, be able to remove the commode. Another thing I like to do is put a 
plastic bag in here that I can set the toilet in just in case there's anything leaking out the bottom. I actually learned this little trick from you, me, and the RV, and I appreciate that. And I've got my tape stuck to the wall here, so or the shower door, so I can easily pull that off real quick and put it over the hole. Now here we go. Let's see if it is. Yep. So just loosen that up. Make sure you can see that okay. Take this cap off here. Okay, that came right off. So there's that one. Put it over here against the wall so we don't lose that. All right, so now the water line is disconnected and the bolt is disconnected on each side. And the thing now is to lift it up off of there and put it in the bag. Okay, so here we go. Lift this up, put it in here. Okay. I can already smell that. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape over it for right now. Okay, so this is a Dometic 320. The caps and the bolts for the mount. Okay, so here is the Dometic. And uh, this is the 320. And the reason I like this is because it has the elongated bowl. You can put standard toilet seats on it and it will fit my bidet. Okay, we're gonna try the fit. See if it works. So, looks like that fits. Now, we will turn on the water and see if we have any leaks. All right, now, I'm gonna check for fit. I'm gonna put this down here first. It's gonna be very, very snug right there. But I do have these adjustments where I can adjust that. This will go down through here like that. And we'll have us a nice regular commode lid on here. And the bidet will fit right here. And uh, so that'll be good. Let me use this washcloth to help me tighten it. This one more. So now I'm gonna go turn the water on and see if we have any leaks. So far, so good. I don't see any leaks. So, so, I think now it's time to mount the lid. All right, as you can see, I have very little water in here. This right here is the cleaning section. So to clean the nozzle, you turn this that way, and so that locks the nozzle. Water comes down around here, and so you can see it kind of dripping out there. 
All right, so that cleans the nozzle. All right, so you turn this back here. Now, just to show you, I'm going to flush the commode and hopefully leave very little water in here. All right, maybe, I don't know, it keeps running a little bit. Uh, I've got this plastic container. All right, to clean, you just turn that front nozzle uh, anywhere from, depending on your pressure, uh, front uh, uh, a little bit to a lot. And I want to show you, it takes about 20 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to try to hold the camera. because. All right, so here we go. I'm going to run it for 20 seconds. So there you have how much water. That may be, maybe, a half a gallon of water in there. A half a gallon of water. And just a, a person will just have to use a little teeny bit of toilet paper. And lo and behold, there she goes. And you're all done. You're very good and clean all day long till you use this again. So anyway, I think that you should check this out. Install one, and I promise you uh, that you will agree that you use less water, use less toilet paper, you'll feel cleaner and fresher, and um, I think that you'll thank me for putting on this video. Leave a comment below and if you want to, and um, be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll get notifications of each video that I put up. It may not be every week. I'll try to put one up periodically. I do have a lot of videos to put up. And uh, so um, if you would, give me a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, you may want to come back later on after you get your bidet. And then you'll definitely give me a thumbs up. Until the next time, I hope you have a great week. See you later. Thank you.